Now, here's the thing about glutathione, taking it as a supplement. Now, glutathione is three amino acids. Now, three amino acids is what we call a peptide. If you take this, what'll happen is they will be broken down into their constituent to the three, three, those three amino acids. Not, they won't wind up in your blood as glutathione. And if they do, remember, glutathione is very, very active. It'll, it won't last. <clears throat> so you can't really do that. That's one thing that's really important to understand about glutathione. But, but um, the rate limiting, in other words, the amino acid that is probably the most difficult to get, because the other two are easy, but the most difficult one to get is the cysteine. So NAC, people call it NAC, I, I hate acronyms. Uh, NAC, N-acetylcysteine. So N-acetylcysteine will give you enough of the cysteine so that your cells will pick that up. And when they pick that up, they've already got the other two amino acids so they can make the glutathione easily, okay? Cancer cells are not as good at that. So if you're giving NAC to, if you're taking NAC or getting it IV and you have cancer, your healthy cells are gonna pick it up and make glutathione to protect themselves and the cancer cells are just not gonna be that good about it. However, if you give intravenous glutathione to someone with cancer, the cancer cells will be able to pick that up. Because remember, it's not gonna be digested. You've already given it in, in an IV form. So then you're gonna support the cancer cell as much as you're gonna support the healthy cell. Okay, so not a good idea. I don't ever give glutathione IV to a person with cancer. NAC, absolutely. In fact, we used to give NAC before IV. And beta-glucan, yeah, yeah, these are, now beta-glucan again, so, 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 so they're different things. So you're saying the question was how to fight cancer. Again, let's go back to correct our terms. Uh, glutathione doesn't fight cancer. Glutathione, what it does is detoxify the inside of the cell, okay, which makes it uh, less likely to develop into cancer, et cetera, et cetera. So in a way, in, a, in, 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 in an indirect way, it does that. Whereas beta-glucan beta -glucan absolutely actually stimulates natural killer cells and, and the, the immune system to act, which does in turn fight the cancer directly.